guys welcome back okay so yeah I know my background is a little bit different wanted to switch it up sometimes I kind of get tired of looking at all you know my makeup and all that stuff so I just want to switch it up a little bit so we got a little razzle dazzle going on but today I am testing out one of my revolution color books so this is the blue green one which is book zero five this is what the packaging looks like really sleek you know that hard plastic so very durable but this is what the packaging looks like it does come in a cardboard box as well but i took that out and threw it somewhere so <laughs> now this is what this palette looks like now at first glance i'm gonna try not to get the ring light on here but at first glance you're like why does that palette have like five of the same colors just multiplied over and over again? It's a color book. So as you can see, it's a gradient of blues and greens. So I like it because it's really nice. You can use the different shadows to kind of blend out different colors, create different mixtures of eye looks, whether you want to do blue and green like I did today, or just a green look, just a blue look light green dark green light blue dark blue you know so it doesn't look like there's a lot of variation but actually there is if you like these colors so just in case you're not aware these color books went on sale on ulta and revolution i don't know was it about a month or so ago a couple months ago maybe they're fairly new and there are five of them like i said one that is kind of like gray tone which i did not buy because that one really just looked like a book of gray <laughs> they have a worn tone one one that has like oranges and reds one that has like pinks and purples and warm browns. so nice little variation of books i did get the other four though not sure if i'm gonna do a look for all of these books but y'all knew i was doing a look for this one okay <laughs> so this is today's look I'm not swatching this whole palette because there are 48 shades in here. So, no. Now, the way this is set up, just in case you're not sure, is it's half shimmer. So, right now, I have the shimmer side on the top. It is separated by a little plastic, I don't know if you can see that, but a little plastic divider so that the shades don't mix. And on this side, is all matte. So I really, really like that, okay? But let me just give you a closer look at these colors. So this is the shimmer side. As you can see, the shimmers are basically kind of like muted satins. They're not like eye-popping, super bright, you know, shimmers that kind of are metallic or anything like that. They're very muted shimmers. In my opinion, they're like satins the matte shades very nicely pigmented i only used two yeah i only used two mattes <laughs> surprisingly but yeah i only used two mattes and both of them were very nicely pigmented and blended out very well so one thing about revolution palettes for me at least the mattes are typically better than the shimmers in my opinion i unless it's like a collab palette or some type of specialty palette i find that the shimmers are usually kind of lackluster and these are basically the same i mean you can see on my lid they worked out they look beautiful the color is nice but i'm more of a super bright shiny shimmer type person as opposed to like a muted satin type person so although they get the job done they're not my favorites by far the mattes very nice now these color books i believe are 20 dollars each and you know if you buy them from ulta you can get a little discount if you use your 350 coupon but i believe at one point on um revolution's website you could get a discount if you buy all five you can get one of them for free i don't know if that's still going on so don't quote me but you might want to check both places if you are thinking about buying all the palettes so anyways i think that pretty much covers it i'll put any additional information on the screen if i've forgotten anything i will go ahead and swatch a few of the shimmers and a few of the mattes just so you'll get an idea and then we'll just quickly jump into this eye look So these are 
some of the shimmers. So you can see what I mean by they're really more like muted satins, not anything super popping or shimmery. The colors are very pretty, but yeah, kind of like that muted satin type formula. Those are some of the mattes. Very nicely pigmented and the color range is very, very pretty. So first impression, you guys, I think it performs decently enough for a Revolution palette. Whether or not it's worth $20, is, I think it kind of depends on the person, how much you want something like this. Like if you do makeup for a living or something like that, and you're kind of on a budget looking for a lot of different palettes to give you variations and shades. I think these are nice for that because they do perform very well, as you can see on the eyes. Um, for just an everyday makeup lover or someone who just buys makeup, mm, especially if you don't really do color a lot, it's probably not worth it, in my opinion. I think these are probably more worth... 13 to 15 dollars to be honest with you just because of the fact that they're so specific not so much because of the quality but because of the fact that they're so specific i think definitely they're more worth around the 13 to 15 dollar range so i think it's just kind of up to you if this is something that you want in your collection then i think it's definitely worth a buy but just for the everyday you know regular makeup buyer who just uses color two or three times a year no it's not worth it <laughs> so those are just my initial thoughts on this palette if you'd like to see how i created this look today stay tuned because it's coming up next 